Hello. My presentation revolves around my investigation and the study of the chemistry and process behind psychokinetics hair follicle drug test. Uh, if any of you are wondering, it is the same test that will be in effect next school year. I just wanted to get some insight on how it works, and I thought some of you all might be interested in it as well. In particular, I wanted to investigate the process by which the drugs are removed from the samples of the hair, and in addition, look into the methods of testing and specific chemistry behind that. Before I start elaborating on the testing, I think it's important that we take a look a little at the, into the biology of the hair. I found out that when drugs are ingested, they travel through the bloodstream and get caught in the root of the hair. As the hair grows out, the drugs in turn grow with it. The trace amounts of chemical substance are then entrapped in the hair as it grows with it. And then with the traces of chemical substance inside the cortex, which is the uh, center of the hair area, which is uh, this yellow spot right there. Um, then the method that psychokinetics uses um, extracts that chemical substance from the hair. Um, now that we know the basic biology to hair, we can move on to the testing process. Okay, before they test, actually test it for the drugs, they must be first washed in order to remove any contamination and dissolve um, the, the hair actually around that chemical substance. Um, they, add, um, they add methanol, hexane, or acetonitrile. Um, some of the things I learned helped me understand the structures of these organic solvents um, because they're, they're really delicate on how they work on the hair. Uh, the formula for methanol is CH4O. The formula for hexane is C6H14. And finally, the formula for acetonitrol is C2H3N2. Now, there are many different types of hair testing methods. Psychokinetics uses the detection method called immunoassay. It is important to know what immunoassay is. Immunoassay is a biochemical test that measures the presence or concentration of a substance in solution that contains a complex mixture of substances. Um, immunoassays are based on the fact that specific antigens will stimulate specific immune responses and that the proteins produced by the immune response, called antibodies, can be used to signify the presence of a target compound in a sample. Uh, then they look for any signs of binding but before I'll uh, turn it over um, to a YouTube video, I will explain the process of amino acid. Clay is prepared to perform a particular assay by coating the wells with antibodies that bind to the antigen of interest. Then the wells are coated with a sample, which could be a sample of serum, respiratory secretion, cerebrospinal fluid, urine, or some other body fluid. If the antigen is present in the sample, it will bind to the fixed antibodies. In this example, the green shape represents the antigen of interest, and the other shapes represent other molecules in the sample. However, note that only the specific, or green, antigen and none of the irrelevant molecules bind to the antibody-coated wells. This accounts for the specificity of the test. Now, now uh, once this uh, um, experiment is uh, taking place, uh, the scientists look for any signs of binding. Some detection signals include emission of radiation, emission of light as a result of movement of atoms, and any production of electricity as a result of these chemical reactions. Now, there are five um, different drug classes, and um, these analytes are or specific uh, atoms and compounds, whatever you want to say, um, that they'll find in these drug testing um, experiments, uh, what they're looking for, um, and here's more amphetamines, marijuana. Now, before I finish, I'd like to show my sources. Uh, in this project, I learned a lot of things about the testing most crit and prep students will be undergoing. In particular, I learned about the process of immunoassay and how delicate of atoms that methanol, hexane, and acetonitrile are. I learned a vast amount in my journey of studying the process by which psychokinetics uses to test its clients. Thank you for listening.